hello everyone welcome back to another video hope you're doing great thank you so much guys for coming back my name is Cynthia if you're here for the first time you're highly welcome so guys in today's video we're gonna be making this um, no side seam high low kaftan why they call it no side seam is because there is no no seam by the side so the only thing you will see is the front and the back side if you're missing the fabric but, but if you're using one fabric you only get the front seam yeah so that's what we're going to be making today. For this tutorial, I'll, I'll be missing my fabric. So I have three yards of fabric here. I will pair this light brown with this coffee color. This is one and a half yards and this is one and a half yards. So all together is three yards of fabric. I will pair these two fabrics together. So we have different ways of um, cutting out this dress or folding the, the fabric. Is that how you fold it into two? You fold it in a bias form or you fold it into four. For this one, I'll be folding it into two. Because if I fold it in a bias form, I don't think the fabric will, will be enough if I fold it in a bias form. And because I'm making use of just three layers of fabric. And there's no size seam. The only thing you get is the front and the back seam. Why you get the back seam? Because I'm joining two different colors of fabric together. So what I'm going to do is to stitch this side together. This is one and a half yards of fabric. The length is 60 inches, so I'm making use of the whole length. I will take one of this side and take one of this side. So I know you guys will be wondering what is lighter doing here. Yes, I'll be using the lighter for the edges, so I don't want to hem the neckline and the arm opening. So I will join the side together. I will take this side, I will take this side. They are both 16 inches length. So I will stitch one side with half inch. So guys, I'm done joining the fabrics together. So if you're making use of one fabric, one color of fabric, there is no need of joining the fabric together here. So this side is the one and a half inches, and this is the length. So as you can see, the fabric is folded into two. All right. So we'll go ahead and uh, place the measurement. So I will start my measurement right from this bottom part. I will go to this bottom part here and mark 28 inches. You can mark less than 28 inches. You can also mark more than 28 inches. So this is 28 inches. So I will go to this side here. I will connect this. To meet this 28 inches at the bottom here. So this is the line. What I'm going to do is to look for the midpoint of this 28 inches and from here I will go up by 15 inches I will make a curve here like so I will look for the midpoint of this 28 inches so this is the midpoint 14 inches I will go to this other side I will go up by 15 inches there is an opening at the front part this is where I'll be making the front opening. So I will go up by 15 inches. You can go up by 16 inches. You can go up by 14 inches. It depends on what you want. So I'll mark 15 inches here. So right from this 14 inches, I will make a curve like so. So this 15 inches. So this is the curve. I will go back to the upper part to mark the neckline. This side is the folded edge. I will be marking the back neckline right on this side and the front neckline right on the other side. I will mark 3 inches for the neck width for the back side. And I will mark 1.5 inches for the neck depth. 
and we can eat it. You can mark three and a half inches if you want it a little bit wide. So this is the back neckline. We go to the side and they take our front neckline. I will take it right from this line. So this is the line we marked out earlier. I will mark three inches for the wideness of the neck. I will be cutting this out anyway. I will still be trimming this part out, but I just want to mark it there. I will take seven and a half inches for the neck depth. Right on this line here. So I will connect it like so. This is the back neckline. Let me explain it to you guys again. So this is the side here. I drew this line up to make the 28 inches at the bottom part here. Right from here, I went down by seven and a half inches. That's the neck depth. The neck width is a three inches. That's this, and this is the back neckline. The front neckline is on the other side, the open side. Why the back neckline is on this folded side? So it's three by 1.5. The wideness is three inches. The depth is 1.5 inches. So what we are going to do is to cut it out before I will tell us what next to do. I will be using the shear scissors to cut it out because I won't be hemming the the fabric. I will use the shear scissors and use the lighter for the edges. If you like, you can use a overlock machine for the neckline. I will cut this side out. I will be cutting the neckline out later on. So I've cut this part out. I will cut out the neckline. I will just cut it out because I'll be marking another neckline anyway. So this is the front neckline. I will cut out the back neckline. So I finished cutting it out. What I'm going to do is to stitch up this side here before we proceed. I will stitch this side. This is the neckline. I will start stitching it after the neckline. This is seven and a half inches. I will stitch it right from here with half inch. I will stitch it up to this place, the 15 inches. Remember we went up by 15 inches. So I will stitch this side up. So guys, I'm done joining this side here. What we are going to do now is to turn the fabric this way. I will open it wide. This folded side will go to the back side, while this side will go to the front side. So I will just open it like so. I decide we stitch together, we go to the front and the back. This is the opening at the front. Only this way, we have to finish with this cutting here. So I have to make sure this side damp part align together. We cut out this upper part. So this is the center part. They have to be on the same side. And we cut this side out just to level the down and the upper part. Because we twisted it the other way, there will be excess of fabric here at the upper part. So I will go ahead and cut this side out, then cut our new neckline. So I'm cutting out this excess one. I will still use my shear scissors to cut it out. The side I'm cutting out is the front part. I 
they have to be of the same level. The front and the back are now equal. So I will go ahead and they create the front neckline. Remember we cut out the first one we marked out. So I will fold it like so to cut out a new neckline. So the wideness is 3 inches and the length is 7.5 inches. If you like, you can go more than that. You can mark um, three and a half inches or four inches, but I'll be marking three inches because I don't want it too wide. And I'll mark to seven and a half inches here. I will connect it. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. Cut out the neckline. So what we are going to do is to stitch the shoulder side. So I will go ahead and join the shoulders, but I will mark out my arm opening before joining the shoulders. So right on this shoulder part here, right on this side, not this side, so that by the time you put your hand here, this side will drip down. So right on this side, I will mark seven inches for the arm opening. You measure yours and mark yours there. So I'll be marking seven inches here, right on this place. You can make a notch here. I will go to the other side and mark seven inches also. This is my seven inches. What I'm going to do is to use half inch to stitch up this place. I will stitch it up to this seven inches. This place will be open. That's the seven inches where the arm will pass through. I will do the same thing for this side. I will stitch it up to here and leave this side open. That's the arm opening. So for this arm opening, I'm not going to be hemming it. So I will use the lighter. Just use the lighter for the edges here, the neckline, and the and the front opening here. I can leave it like this, this lower part, because I use the shear scissors for this lower part and the upper part. But the neckline and the arm will I will use lighter for the edges. So guys, I finished um, joining the shoulders. And this is the finished look of our dress. So this is the neckline. I use a lighter for the neckline, the arm opening, and the lower part. This is the lower part. I still use lighter for the lower part here. Here's the front part. Let me turn it to the back side. This is the back. So remember there is no cut here, this is the back side. I did not make any cuts here. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. I love you guys. Bye.